summon Garuda? Wait. Fuck! Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. What a nasty little thought, man. Asmongold, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Crags once more? Solo? I don't think I can solo the boss. You can't? I'm gonna try it. No, no, no! Uh, far better to die, they reason. For in death there is life. How does he know? How do you know, lion ass motherfucker, piece of shit, bitch, cheating on us, hate you, suck? Good. We're gonna kill him? But killing Let's the warrior go. of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. I sense you will offer more than mere target practice, unlike your sister. Oh my god, what a bitch. Damn! Alize. What is this? Is this Horary Boulder? Or is this the bad guy? The Warriors of Darkness. Oh, fuck. Wait, they're looking down there, and are they gonna get Nidhogg's eyes? Oh, fuck, man. Are you kidding me? What is this? Thank you, Blainers. Nay, you need not remain there. We shall rendezvous at the usual place. Always proceeding as expected, then. There's nothing to concern us aside from one overly curious mouse. Oh, shit. Is it Thaladrite again? Wait, he's gonna one-shot? This way. Wait, this, that's gotta be Alice, right? That's his, uh, that's his sister. Him again. It is of no moment. They will play their part, and we will play ours. What the fuck? Why are they not showing her whole body as if we would expect that it to be anybody different? It's obviously her, right? I mean, come on. Why are you so damn perceptive? It's not perceptive. And thus did gray mist give way to azure skies. Man and dragon rise above, voices joined in song. But beneath shroud bows, beneath the scope of light, shadow stirs. That's why I was worried about them throwing the eyes down there, man. Okay, let's see here. We'll talk to the uh, four temps knight. Master Bald, Master Bald, you come in a most excellent time. Sir Emmerich de Boyle, Ward Speaker of the House of Lords, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, and Viscount of House Borel cordially invites Master Bald to dine with him at his estate. I'd be glad to accept. I would be glad- I, I am going to be a good person. I shall send word of your acceptance to Borel Manor at once. Whenever you're ready, pray report to the Astrologia come. Uh, they will have someone escort you the rest of the way. Okay, we're gonna put on the coat, guys. Chill out. Oh my god. Wait, am I, so I'm Count Dripula now. Holy shit. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, I'm gonna look good in this cinematic. Look at this. God damn. Wait, it's a dinner date? There's only the two of us. You know what? This is completely manly. There's nothing wrong with this at all. This is just too... Uh, two established, esteemed gentlemen succeeding I must say, your and celebrating their victories. Come as a welcome change from the arid reports which fill my day. Absolutely. If you don't kiss Emmerich, you're homophobic. The lords Shut and commons up. agree on very little. But not a soul in either house begrudges your order this offer of patronage. Yep. For all you have done and will do, we thank you. Shut up. Yeah, true. May I ask a personal oh, question? Oh, God. Oh, God. Here it comes. Now that the dust has settled, what will you do? Not as a scion, I mean, but what do you want for yourself? To crush my enemies, to see them driven before me, to hear the lamentations of their women. Lord Commander, pray what for the hell's the going on now? I didn't even get to answer. Yeah, we got cockblocked. An urgent message for the Warrior of Light. I was instructed to deliver oh, it without delay. Fuck. Master Thancred returned to the manor a short time ago, bearing an injured maiden. Master of course. Lavea and Mistress Tataru are tending to her wounds, but they like not her chances. Wait, what? Respectfully, my lord, they have requested the Warrior of Light's immediate presence. You must go to them, my friend. And I shall go with you. Fuck yeah! Dude, I think Emmerich... Emmerich is the... If you were to pick one dude to be like your boy, Emmerich would probably... It would be Emmerich or Raubon. Like, one or For the other. every ending. 
marks a new beginning. Okay. Damn, I'm so glad I wore my coat for this. I look so much better. I look like a god. From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. As did he. Who's that? Who's he? Not Lola Rito. Uh, well, we're gonna kill him soon. Yeah, a little Dorito. Be drawn unto another battlefield. Ooh. Another cause. As if by fate. Ooh. Not looking good. All right, let's do it. Let's be honest. There she is. I knew it. I fucking knew it was her. It had to be her. Is that? It's a. It's a twin. There's two of these assholes. Alize, Alfino's twin sister. Yep. She ran afoul of the warriors of darkness. We're gonna kill them. I had been tracking them since the ceremony at Falcon's Nest. Mm -hmm. Little did I know I was not the only one. So she was tracking them too. Evidently, she had learned of their activities and attempted to shadow them on her own. Poorly. Ooh. I rescued her in the Twelfth's Wood, and together we fled north. But though I made every effort to cover our tracks, they caught up with us on the Ishgardian border. And in the ensuing struggle, Elise took an arrow to the shoulder. At least it wasn't to the it knee. It was only after we had made good our escape that I realized it was poisoned. Are we really gonna kill her? Are they really gonna kill Alice? I mean, like, look, if they gotta get rid of her, like, she's basically just like girl Alphano, right? She doesn't really have, like, at the in, in A Realm Reborn, there was, like, a part of a story for her. But if they're gonna have to kill her, look, man, it is what it is. Like, I'm fine with that, because people that crank her as a madam at her are kind of weird, in my opinion. So if we get her out of the story, I'll be totally fucking fine with it. Uh-oh. Thank you for coming so quickly. And you, Sir Emmerich. You're welcome. Think nothing of it. How is she? We have done all we can for now. Although the immediate danger has passed, the poison yet lingers in her blood. Oh, shit. We came to Eorzea together, hoping to bring salvation to the realm our grandfather gave his life to protect. Oh my god, dude. Like, whenever I first saw him, he made me so mad. Like, I hated him so much. But when confronted with the bitter realities of its politics and its petty powermongers, she was driven to anger and to doubt. True. Until she met her grandfather again. She refused to become embroiled in what she termed Eorzea's squabbles and distance herself from the Scions. See, I always thought that was stupid. I didn't like that at all. I, I thought it was weird. Like, why would why would you get rid of and leave the Scions? Though she remained hopeful of a brighter future, she would walk her <laughs> own path. Would that it had not been so perilous. Yeah, she shouldn't have done that. She should have done what, what, what y'all told her to do. For all our differences, She's as dedicated as any scion to the salvation of Eorzea. But more than that, she is my sister. I'm gonna be honest. The only way that I can tell the two of these apart is the little hair braid they've got. Because one's blue and the other one's red. The blue one is Alphanod and the red one is the girl. That's it. I have- I- I- like, they look the exact same. Matoya was right. To be reunited with her, only to lose her forever. Gods, even to speak the words. Yep. They're identical twins. Yeah, the lips and lashes. I'm not looking that closely, okay? Take heart, Master Alphino. She will be attended by our most skilled Kyrugians. Kyrugian? What the fuck does that even mean? Bear Mistress Leveilleur to the infirmary at once. Apprise Captain White Cape of the situation and inform him that she is to be treated as my personal charge. Damn, dude. Sir Emmerich is a pimp. Oh my god. Alphino. Is the warrior of light, is he with you? D don't go, there is something I must say. Okay, what does she want? Oh boy. I don't want to have her die though. Like, I, 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 you know what, I don't, I don't want to have her die. Yeah, that would be too sad. The warriors of darkness are in league with the Asians. Slaughtering the primals is but the first step in their plan. Oh, fuck. What? What do you expect? They make for Zelvatol to bring about Garuda's summoning and to kill her. Wait, what? So we have to steal a world boss? You must. 
You must stop them. Okay, let's do that. That's fine with me. Yeah, we gotta steal a world boss. They're spawn camping Garuda. Got no problem with furries. But it's weird. Being a furry is weird. Yeah, you wanna be a furry? That's fine with me. This is a fur this is a furry. This is a furry acceptance zone. But this is also an acceptance that furries can accept themselves and still be weird zone, also. So keep that in mind. Oh, shit. Damn, we're going to war. All right, let's do it. Um, where's my... There it is. Okay. Oh, I can only pull one path, maybe? Uh, damn, these guys are dying fast. Damn. Yeah, we busting out of here. All right, let's go. Okay. Okay, good. And let me pull these here. Perfect. All right. And then I'll hit these. Damn, dude. I do some... Bro, I do some crazy fucking damage now. Okay, here's the boss. Easy, easy, easy boss. Easiest boss in the game, even. Okay. Wait, wow. He is the easiest boss in the game. This guy's getting fucking destroyed. Holy shit. Look at my damage. Oh my god! I'm a- I'm insane! Holy fuck, yeah! Dude, I'm just popping off! From death on high, we rain from above. What the hell? Ah, oh, shit! We gotta kill ads, too. Okay, ads are dead. Alright, oh, there's a third one. Floating turret. Okay, maybe we actually have to kill other things, too, besides him. Perfect. Literally insane popping off. Yeah, I know. I'm doing great. Okay, hot blast. I'm assuming this just does less... What the hell? Oh, it probably knocks us farther up in the air, the, the higher health it is, I'm assuming. Something like that. He doesn't know. He's dead. It's fine. Yeah, we're totally okay. What do you guys mean? Y'all are making me scared. Like, every single time you guys say shit like that, I start getting worried. But no, this is totally fucking fine. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Look at this dungeon. Oh my god! Look at that, dude! Yeah, yeah! Some dungeons are purely for story? Yeah, I guess so. It's a siege goo boo boo. Okay, got him. There we go. Perfect. I should try the hard dungeon on min eye level. They're not extreme hard, but they're worthwhile. Yeah, I'm sure that they're probably more challenging than, uh, uh, than the normal modes. Absolutely. I just think, like, giving, like, uh, players a little bit of max level content and stuff like that would be kind of cool. For, uh, for dungeon content. Maybe they'll do that in Endwalker, but we'll just have to find out. Uh, I think that, like, honestly, they know what they're doing. Like, it seems like the Final Fantasy devs, like, they have a vision for the game. It, it, they know what they're doing to a pretty decent extent. And it makes me, like, not worry as much about, like, the game. I'm like, eh, it's, it's fine. All right, imposing gate. Do I open the door? Yes, I'm going to open the door. Of course I'm going to open the door. Why would I not? I don't need to loot anything, it's not important. All right, let's go. Do we actually go up? Oh, we do. Oh, wow. Final Fantasy is not perfect? Of course it's not. It's got a ton of problems, but that's okay. The thing is to me is like, I, I understand that like no game is going to be perfect, but I only care really if the developers are willing to make changes. That's what matters. Yeah, that's what is, yeah, nothing's perfect. Exactly. Okay, good. Okay, give me one second. Let me kill both of these. Perfect. All right, let's go up to the next boss. Oh, there he is. All right, let's go. Let's kill him. It's time. Perfect. Here's a Final Fantasy. Let me know if you need any help. I'm good, man. I'm totally good. I'm enjoying the game a lot, as I said before. Uh, I played it a lot off stream, too. But yeah, that's the only thing I'm not really a big fan of is the animation locking. Everything else besides that is totally good to me. Uh, I I'm pretty much happy. Yeah, watch him fly backwards at some point. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Totally fucking fine. Okay, he's almost dead. Got him, dude. Got him, dude. All right, boys. Last boss. Wait, what the fuck? 
What is this area? Wow. Make tomatoes taste- yeah, make tomatoes taste like chicken nuggets. If they want to see chicken nuggets, then okay. Alright, now what's this? The hornbill. I hate these fucking birds, man. I hate these stupid fucking birds. Because a path- uh, not Path of Exile. What the fuck am I thinking? Palace of the Dead. Yeah, Palace of the Dead was a, uh, really big eye-opener with these fucking birds. They were complete pieces of shit. I hated them so much. Oh, is that the boss up there? Holy shit. God damn, dude! Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! That's a big boy. Don't kill it too fast. Alright, I won't kill it too fast. I'll just auto attack the second half of the attack. Second half of the fight. Let's do it. First rule of the lawsuit is you don't talk about the lawsuit. Uh, I thought you were supposed to make Twit Longers about it every day. Yeah, that's what, uh, that's what LSF wanted me to do. Or wanted not me to do, but wanted people to do whenever they, uh, uh, they were getting accused of stuff. They were like, well, he's not talking about it. That means he's guilty. It was very common. Oh, I won something. Great. Now I can waste, uh, another space in my inventory. He's got a lot of health. I don't think we need to worry about killing him too fast. This music is fucking badass. This is in Palace of the Dead, too. Damn, dude. Okay, hawks. So I don't know how that works. I guess those are... Oh, birdie boys. I see. The birdie boys fly around. Okay, good. We're doing great so far, guys. Summon Garuda? Wait. No way. Fuck! I well, what's she gonna do? We can't even attack her. That's no big deal. Guru didn't even do anything. Wow. Okay, great. Oh, fuck. I, I got two items now. I didn't want either one of them. Great. Okay. And let's see here. Gruda scared of you? I'm not surprised. Okay, he's hawking. He's hawking. All right, let me get inside of this. There we go. Perfect. And that's a dead ass bitch. That's a dead ass bitch. Get out of here. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to think about you. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. Yay. Don't forget to pet the cat girl healer. I'm getting, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting, I'm just, I'm getting out of here. It's a boy? That wasn't, a, that wasn't a guy? No, it wasn't. Thank the gods. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I just fucking uh, did the boss and then he died. He's got, we got him. It so was they not were a unable to see the ritual to its completion. Oh, sorry, it was not a then Garuda is no longer a threat. Yeah. And whatever the Asians and the warriors of darkness were planning has come to naught. Problem solved, boys. Well, well. What do we have here? You'd better not have killed the primal without us. Is this who I think it is? Oh my god. What do you want? What do you want? You! Yeah, you. Like, yeah, Alpha. Not. Yo, bro, lay down the law. This guy just fucked up your sister. Wait, I know you. Still walking, I see. I oh, no. Was true. What a nasty little thought, man. Slap a bitch, man. Just what is your game? Come on. Leading us along. You gonna let that happen? So these fools could step in and claim our prize. Very true. No, no. Let's not make hasty accusations. By the look of things, the ritual was proceeding as planned. What do you mean? We arrived at the appointed hour. It was they who erred. True, yeah, they, we got here early. It is hopeless. We cannot face them all. Yeah, we can. I'm the main character of the story. Do mine ears deceive? 
A boy. So that's the way of it. Twins. You had me worried for a moment there. You have to kill her, man. You have to fucking kill her. No, Come on. I will happily make it quicker for you. If you just stand still. God damn, what a bitch. Well, why not? Enough, Jarumu. We wouldn't want to upset the man in white with any unnecessary bloodshed now, would we? Oh, the Ascetian. Yeah. I want to kill her. Let's kill her. You've been awfully busy since we were kind enough to spare your lives. What do you mean? I would have beat your ass. What the fuck are you talking about? What the- Well, you were idly consorting with the Asians, you mean? Seven hells. What could you possibly hope to achieve? Yeah, this is what I'm wondering about too. How does this work? Should I explain it to you? Very well. Consider it a reward of sorts for beating us here. All right, you here know we the go. The tale of Hydaelyn and Zodiac, I take it, of the Great Sundering, and the reflections it created. Uh, yeah. Across ten and three, they were divided. Reflections of the Source, mm -hmm. each possessed of shards of light and dark. Just so. One of those reflections, the one nearest to the source, is our home. And we were the heroes blessed with her light. But not all worlds hold light and dark in equal measure. In ours, the power of light was greater by far. Right. So the Asians who once threatened our home were no match. And they fell before us, one after another, till oh. none were left. Victory, we thought. Awesome. Great! And then came the light. A flood of pure, blinding radiance, annihilating shadow and color and life itself. Ere long, it will consume our world, leaving naught in its wake but blank perfection. What the fuck? That... that cannot be. Do you honestly expect us to believe such a story? Yeah, how the hell is this supposed to work? Believe what you like. But it has happened before. On a world far removed yeah. from this. Yeah! The 13th. Which was swallowed by the dark and transformed into what you call the Void. This is what that stupid ass kid was talking about. Unchallenged light would condemn us to a similar fate. And so we joined hands with our former enemies. And with their aid came here. To the source. Okay. For there is but one way to restore the balance and save our home. The Arda. What's that? Calamitous destruction with the power to break down the barriers between planes and see our worlds rejoined. What the fuck? You would doom our world to save your own? What would even become of us? Of you? Well, we die and then they wouldn't. It's pretty simple, right? I, I think it makes sense. Enough. I tire of talking. You know our cause. You know what is at stake. We are prepared to do whatever it takes. What the fuck? This is awkward. If there is aught you would say, say it. Otherwise, be gone. You have no friends here. Yeah, this is just awkward. Okay. Can I make a guess? I think that guy is uber dangerous. That's why he paused and tried to stop the girl from shooting Alphano. And that's also why he was talking with the same Asian. And that's why he knew about the world and void. I'm not sure. I'm not going to read chat because I don't want to be have it clarified in any way, shape, or form. But that is what I believe. I think he's uber danger, and that's why he stayed behind to wait. <laughs> All things considered, we should be grateful for having survived that encounter. Do you think ours could be true? To save their world, they must bring ruin to ours. Whatever the reasons, they must be stopped. The sacrifice, the loss, it ends here. More importantly, I would like to see if my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment for yourself as you wish. I will be at the congregation. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I think- Alize, how are you feeling? Oh, he got- he's winded because he had to walk up the stairs. Well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. When they told me you had departed for Zelfatol, I found that I could rest. The outcome seemed a mere formality, as did your safe return. 
Thank you, my friend. Of course. I take it your mission was a success. Yay, yay, yay. Yay. I could have beat all of them, by the way. As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Assians. But to save another world? I think not. Yeah, fuck them. You were following these people, Alize. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their mm -hmm. exploits. But after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Oh, shit. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. That makes sense. They're gonna take our they're taking our jobs. Forgive me. But if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? Yeah, that's a good point. To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. Okay. And lest we forget. These events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, yeah. the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the Beastmen. Tis no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Yeah, we gotta blow them up. We cannot let that happen. Uh, yeah. Seems like a bad time. It should come as no surprise, but Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Assians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. What a surprise. What a little fucking surprise. Yep. If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. I think we should let them summon whichever boss they Agreed. want. That sounds great. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Let us consult with Orianja then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Yeah, let's talk to him. Okay. Allow me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, yep. know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. Of course you're not the girl that you once was. You got a new voice actor. But Alize, you... You are more than welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Okay. All right, let's go. Aw, how cute. Aww. Wait a minute. I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Oh, what? Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. Oh, God. What is this? Let's see it. Oh, they're going to give the girl a new... Oh, God. What's this? My apologies for keeping you waiting. Oh, damn. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Man, Tataru. Bro. Wow. Drift out? Modest and appropriate? What do you mean, modest? Are you kidding me? I'm going to be honest. This one is a downgrade. Is he the Redditor or she's the 4 -chaner? Uh, She's the one that... Uh, this girl, no, she goes on Pinterest. Yeah. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, she's on Pinterest. Uh, fair enough. Let us depart to the Waking Sands then and see if Uber Danger can be of assistance. Yeah, I, I bet, uh, I want to talk to Uber Danger right now. Okay. Uber Danger, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. Well, he does have the thing on his face, though. Hmm, maybe not. I still, th I don't know. I think it's gotta be him. It's just fucking gotta be him. Uh, Master Alphanod, what would this scholar see fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming? What bringeth thee and thine here these days? Yeah, I don't know. This is sus. You're right. Uh, warrior of darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. Okay, here we go. I too have heard tales in the recent days of primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. So they're basically getting spawned. They're being farmed for loot. Uh, alas, uh, as thou didst observe, this this is served to spur the beast tribes to pursue their goals with redou redoubled fervor. Now, we have two objectives at this time, to identify and remove the source of the beast tribes' crystals and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. While we were fortunate enough to learn of the Exiles' plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Asi 
locations did not have similar designs everywhere of which we do not have any knowledge. Thou, were, thou wert wise to come hither. For this very day did I receive tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Marathor. Uh, Omgoro stirreth, and the whispers are that the Lord of Crags neareth his return. Mere rumors, mark thou, but in the light of thy own discoveries, thou cannot afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. So we're going to have to kill Titan again? We must ascertain the truth of this matter for ourselves. Let us consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook. Okay, let's do that. The Lord of Crack? No. Thank you for your counsel, Uber Danger. Pray inform us should you learn anything else. I shall. No, you won't, you lying ass bitch. Oh. If I may, brother, Uber Danger, is there anything else that you'd like to say? How was I? If not, then never mind. I only ask because you are rather normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add. Very well. Before we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke upon uh, how the Ardor had the power to break down the barriers between planes that our worlds would be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Before being nowhere near as well read as you, I'm sure you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I heard the tale of a promising tome, the Garon Oracles. Mayhap you could start there. Ooh. Oh, by thy leave. The death stare, man. The fucking death stare. Damn. Well, fancy just that. Whenever my kobold problems look like they're coming to a head, the signs of the seventh dawn turn up, itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant time it is. Right then, let's get to it. Uh, so our friendly neighbor, Nuga Margu, have uh, got much more aggressive as of late, just as you've said. Matter of fact, our scouts have spotted one sniffing around the stores just now, looking to make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I let that happen. Lend a hand and help us sunch the camp for the little bugger, would you? All right, let's do that. All right, I got him now. Okay, we found him. Don't worry about him. We're good. Please don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Yes, yes, just talk. Like, yeah. I only come in peace, only to talk. To say, to talk. So please, please don't hurt me. Huzzah, we've got him. Fine work, Scions. Uh, so little one. You thought you'd sneak into my camp, did you? Plotting to steal me crystals, were you? No, no, I came here to talk, to ask for help. But whenever your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted. No one is going to hurt you, all right? Not while we are here. I promise. The Patriarch, he, uh... The Patriarch's going to summon the Great Father again, and you have to stop him, beat him, fight him, stop him. Oh, shit. Gubu's parents said he didn't want it, along with many others. But the Patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, fuming, raging, angry. And he said if he didn't have the iron in their hearts, it would serve as the, as coke for his furnace. Probably coal, right? But whatever. Uh, and then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen them since. Uh, I didn't want to believe, but I heard tales of foci fashioned from the bones of beastmen, which worshippers used in their rituals, hoping to summon the more powerful incarnations of their gods. By the twelve, that is, that's sickening. Yeah, so they're actually using, like, human sacrifices. Commander, advise Maelstrom Command that Titan is summoning his implement. It, 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 should the worst come to worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we will attempt to infiltrate the Kobold Stronghold, secure their crystals, and free the prisoners. So we have to do Titan Extreme Extreme. Is that what it is? Anon means soon, Asmon. Yes, I... Oh, shit. Are they really gonna try to bring this bitch ass back again? Quickly, you quads! Briskly, swiftly, quickly! I will not suffer any further delays. Oh, shit, this is a second order. These guys are serious. The hell is this? Oh. Lay down your arms and surrender. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Oh. Overdwellers here, but how did you? Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? Oh, they're alive, right? Their father. 
Coke for the furnace, you monster. How could you? What the fuck? Bro, this just got real. Oh my god. We are but servants of the Lord of Crags. We are his, that he may drink our blood and partake of our flesh, that he may draw upon the strength of his children to defend them from the tyranny of the overdwellers. No, Alice, not yet. I said I'd come for you, and I did. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Say something, please. Please. This is fucked up. This is sad. Fuck! Oh no! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh my god, what is this? Titan Ultimate, I see that. What the fuck? I am so confused right now. Smash him. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. He doesn't even care. Wait, really? He's gonna beat the little baby? Oh my god. What the hell is he doing? We must away. Sh what about Titan being here, though? What the fuck? Was he, was he gonna try to solo him? Oh, you bitch. Carbuncle on the face, yeah. Asmongold, you know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Crags once more? Yes. Solo? I don't think I can solo the boss. You can't? Like, there's no way, dude. I'm gonna try it. Okay, how do I do it? Yeah, I I'm gonna try it right now. Okay, let's see here. Uh, the navel, hard. Alrighty. There's no way I can do this, man. All right. Focusing. It has to be on hard mode. No, it'll be okay, guys. I got it. It'll be fine. All righty. Fuck. There he is. I'm ready. We can beat him. It's going to be no problem. Okay, I'm going to get my food buff here. Alrighty, um, using food buff one, using food buff two. Okay, I've got 38,000 health. Let's see what I can do here. All right, I'm making sure I've got all the right gear on. Let's go. Okay. Okay, oh, I'm beating him, I'm beating him, I I'm beating him. Holy shit, I'm actually beating him. Oh my god! Holy fuck, dude! This is so good! I'm killing it! Okay, now we get ready for this. Alrighty. No problem, no problem. Okay, I'll put this down right here, moving out of that. Perfect. Good. I I'll put this down too, might as well, for a little bit more damage. Okay, big damage here. Blood splitter, 6,000 crit. Not even a big deal. This is a joke. Bro, this is a joke. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. There we go. Okay, got him. Tomb, though, it should be fine. Yeah, it, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I, I've got it, guys. It'll be totally okay. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm full health here. Uh, I can't get got. Okay, we'll just stay right in the middle here. Like, I'm not even gonna have to move. I don't even take damage from these attacks. I'm a literal god. 
Okay, moving out of that. There we go. He's 60%, boys. 60 fucking percent. Okay, we'll do a little bit of damage here, too. More blood spillers. Got him. Nice. Wait, what the hell? Wait, it went away. What the fuck? It, it went away. How the f Nice. Dude, all, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, big damage here. Big fucking damage here. What am I... No fucking way this is happening to me. Okay. All right, now what? Um. Uh, okay, okay, let's go. Uh, I'm almost out of health. Uh, I'm almost out of health. I can't. I, I. How do I heal? How do I heal? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, getting out of that. There we go. There we go. There we go. I need a heal. I need a fucking heal. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm going to fucking die. No, no, no. Focus. Okay, getting out of that. Okay, the only thing I can't do is die. I can do anything else. I just cannot die right now. Okay, moving out of here. Shit! Okay. You got that? Good. Okay, we're doing big damage here. We're doing actually big damage here. Potion, 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 potion. Come on, I'm fuck. He's at 36%. I'm in 100% focus mode. Okay. Good. Moving out of that. Come on. There better not be in a rage for this fight, man. Like, that's what I'm worried about. Like, if there's an enrage for this fight, I'm fucking dead. No, no, no. I'm not fucking dead. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm winning this 100%. I'm winning this 100%. Wait, why am I not doing more damage? Damage down. Why is it down? Fuck! I just... I can't get killed. Okay, come on. Please fucking do the pass. There we go. Good. I'm just gonna stand in one of these. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's only 2,000 damage. Let me try to drop salt at Earth ahead of time. Maybe that'll help. He's 23%. Actually, we're destroying him right now. He's, he's getting fucking destroyed. Here we go. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. There we go. Okay, popping CDs. You see my potion as well? Another super potion. Nice. He's at 11%, guys. We're doing absolutely insane. Good. 10%. Okay, we're gonna do, as soon as he becomes active, I'm gonna double hit it. I'm gonna hit him with a carbon spit and a blood spiller. Okay. Now. I hit the wrong button. Oh my god, I hit the wrong button. I do. Okay. Big damage here. Okay, he's doing this. Yeah, I, I do actually have that. Uh, I'm dumb. I forgot about what my, what my abilities were that I had. All right, this is the only attack I have to avoid. I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna mess this up. No, I won't, I'm gonna get it. Come on. All right, this is where I do big damage. Now, 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 now. Yes, dude. 
Yes, dude. That is how it's fucking done right there, boys. I knew it. 1v1 Titan, like it wasn't even a big deal. And I even got an, a, a rock pokey boy. Carried? All right, all right, let's go. Let's go, carry, yeah, sure. Echo with carried by Echo. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Just a little bit. Ah, there he is. Did I not tell you that he would return safe and sound? The deed is done then. Titan is no more. That's true. Titan has been yeeted and deleted. Good. There has been enough tragedy this day. I kind of feel bad about little Goo Boo. He's been like that since he regained consciousness. We believe he can hear us, but he has made no attempt to respond. He almost certainly in stop, shock. But we cannot discount the possibility that he succumbed to the primal's influence. Should that prove to be the case, he must be put to death like any other thrall. Such is the Alliance's policy, yes? You have the right of it. But we must not rush to conclusions. After all, we once feared that Ysail's followers were beyond reason, and many since have laid down their arms and accepted Ishgard's peace. But we can watch, wait, and pray. Damn. Damn, I feel I feel bad. Like I, like bro, that went 0 to 60 too, by the way. Like that was 0 to 60. That was like, oh yeah, this cute little thing and then we're going to help him find his parents and then you go over there and his parents are dead because they're being sacrificed to summon a god. You know? It's like fuck. Man, dude. Who goes there? Who is it? It's your boy. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. Damn. so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. Fuck, man. I should be stronger for all my experiences. Yet my heart aches more than ever. I do feel bad for Gabu. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness. True. I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. But when Grandfather revealed the whole truth of the calamity to us, I finally understood. And I resolved there and then to continue his legacy in my own way. That was in the coils. We did that. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. Yeah, exactly. People always got problems. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship, whose lives I could not save. Just like Gooba. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. What did he say? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. Okay, that's a, that's a nice quote. We have to try, do we not? Uh, Gabu's not doing too well. Of course, it's one well. thing to try and another to do. There were times He's while vibrating, I was tracking the warriors man. of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Urianger, 
of you. Aww. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. Um. Traveled far and wide with two companions, Estinian and Yasail, who are very, under some unique circumstances, I had the pleasure to fight Sir Emmerich. Yeah, let's do the Pokemon one. Yeah, leave her brother out of it. Fuck that kid, dude. Fuck Gods! That. They must have been at each other's throats from dawn till dusk. That's true. I dare say you managed to keep the peace, though. Merely being in the presence of the Warrior of Light is surely enough to shame anyone into behaving. True. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. Damn. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. There he is. What are we gonna do with Gabu, though? Like... I, I feel like, yeah, what the hell do we do with him? Oh, fuck, man. Oh my god, dude. He does cover his fucking face. That's to uber dangerous. Dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Yes, dude, I fucking knew it, man. Every tool has its purpose. Even this. No way. I've got to be right. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. It seems that way. Like, look, he even talks like a man. What did the man in white have to say? Yeah, the Assetian. Not Brawlius. That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Or no, Elidibus. Yeah, yeah, Elidibus. So we are proceed as we as he did first set forth. Okay. Well, that's easy for him to say. It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? True. Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. Oh. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Uh-oh. Foresee? Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. I fucking knew it. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Bro, I'm fucking is he Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. And for the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Asians alone. Is he a double agent or a triple agent or a quadruple agent? Like With I thine own hand strike down thine enemy. The so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all too delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. Fuck. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher, and a creed I hold close to my heart. Oh, shit! He said the thing! Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. Is he gonna try to, like, I think it's gonna be... What good a creed one cannot uphold? What hurts soothed? What lives saved? Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Yeah, why are you cheating on us, you little piece Minfilia, of shit? My friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. What the fuck, dude? Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast, 
so too shall I. What the fuck is going on, man? Like, I... This is such... What the fuck? All right, all right, let's go. He's still not talking. Ah, let me guess, it's time to leave, isn't it? How is he? Are we gonna have to kill him? Brother, Commander Biden, something tells me that you're not solely here out of concern for his welfare. But to answer your question, there has been no change. He will not speak or eat. I'm not even sure if he slept. If he did, it seems none the better for it. He just shuffles about with the same expression on his face. You will look after him, won't you, Commander, and treat him with every kindness? Oh, I think it's going to be Kobold Stew tonight. He's still in there, I know it. Beneath the anguish and despair, he's still fighting with all his heart. I'm so sorry, Gabu. I truly am. You should have never been made to. And I know that I cannot possibly understand. Mayhap there's some, nothing I can do or say. The pain, the anger, the helplessness. Hold fast to the memories of better times. Remember them as they were. And when it hurts so much, your heart feels fit to burst. Let it burst. Let it burst and fill up again with your love for them. And never, ever forget. I will remember them and you out. He says something. I want to say thank you. Oh, wow. Damn. Damn, man. Have faith, sister. Your words have reached him. In time, he will recover. And for those who orchestrated these events, we made to answer for their crimes. Yes, exactly. Speaking of that, let's go talk to Uber Danger. No? Is she gonna tell us? A thousand times over, A, there will be a reckoning. True. True. Let's fuck some shit up. Son of a bitch. I've heard the glad tidings of Ogamagu, my friends. By the grace of the twelve of your most valiant efforts, the people of Lisa Lamasa may rest easy. Let us seek another matter, one which weigheth, levy, uh, weigheth heavy on my lady's mind. As thou did request, I sought out the Juran Oracle, so we can better understand the aims of the warriors of darkness. Through their copious use of allegory defieth any single interpretation, the oracles paint a most disturbing picture, one of worlds parallel to our own, apart yet linked, reduced to ruin with every umble calamity. So there are other servers. Seven times they have succeeded. Then ten of the three, only six worlds remain. Aye. As all as Lady uh, Milfina speak unto thee. And for what becometh of these reflections whenever they are the source and are rejoined? Frail flesh undone in umbral fires, each soul surrendereth to her call, to flow into the endless sea, there to endure as one and none. Then, if the warriors of darkness succeed, everyone in the world will die. In essence, yes. The verse speaketh of the renunciation of the flesh, and the subsequent return to the life stream. However, this fate may yet be preferable to the alternative. For if the first were to fall transcendent light in the matter of the warriors of darkness described, it would give way unto a void wherein none may know either life or death. Oh, like so Sylvanas. Uh, far better to die, they reason. For in death there is life. The essence of a soul which returneth to the source may be born anew, saved. Such is, at least, their belief, I surmise. How does he know? How do you know, lion-ass motherfucker, piece of shit, bitch, cheating on us, hate you, suck? If that's true, then gods, no, no one should have to make that choice. Yeah, I, I'm so tired of this asshole, man. Before we speak further on this subject, I wanted to share with another recent discovery. To it seemed that several sizable shipments of crystals have been delivered into the hands of a certain Alamegan parties. Alamegan, strange. Would you believe this be work of Samish Guardian smugglers that supplied the beast tribes? No, it's probably Ilberto. Uh, the individuals who took the receipt of the shipments are refugees belonging to a group devoted to the cause of Alamegan liberation. Uh, it may also interest you to know that their Ishgardian suppliers appear to be none other than the remnants of Elaine Rowell's network of spies. Remember, she was the second in command. Surely you jest, and yet it's not surprising. Bereft of leadership and hunted by the Alliance, I can well imagine such villains desperate enough to conspire with the Ascetians, knowing that he, assuming they even know or care who their new employers are. All of which is irrelevant, forgive me. We will seek out the resistance group which delivered the crystals without delay. Will you come with me to Little Alamigo? I bet Alberto is going to be involved in this shit, because the reason why 
is that yes of course I like to see what they have for themselves firsthand may you ever walk in the light of the crystal shut up bitch shut up bitch fuck you fuck you asshole Brothers and sisters, 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. Son of a bitch! In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. Mm-hmm. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Why are they all wearing bondage? Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. We abandoned them. Our okay. own flesh and blood to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out. Building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. Damn, this we guy's pissed. We abandoned them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country. Or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. Damn. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my okay. friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight. Hell yeah. They have That's imprisoned right. us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us. Mm -hmm. But no more. Blood demands blood. And the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our land. Good, let's, ki let, let's kill uh, everybody. Let's kill him and then we'll kill the Garleans too. And together we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Arbania once more. Man, fuck you, bitch. Shut up. It does sound pretty good. This guy looks like Johnny Bravo. A power befitting their pride. Not at all ominous, that. Yeah, exactly. Wait, is that... Who's that? How's what she gonna see... What are you doing here? How's she gonna see if she got a mask on? How's she gonna see if she got a mask... How's she gonna... How's that gonna happen? I could ask you the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Hi! Well, well, this is quite the surprise. Shut up, stupid. If you see what I see, if you feel as I feel... Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? I think she got hotter. Yeah, I think they made her hotter for sure, guys. What do you think? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Yeah, I know. Words cannot express how glad I am to see you both alive and well. Uh, and you. I thought it was pretty obvious you and Asmongold would be fine. Uh, Crystal Braze never had a realistic chance of capturing any of the Scions, divided as they were and distrusted by the better part of Aresia. Yeah, exactly, Alphanod. That's because your secret little fan club suck dick. If you truly believe that, forgive me. What exactly have you been doing all this time? Crystal Braves. Repaying a favor. After the banquet, we had no choice but this flea We would, uh, we would not have been able to do so without the aid of some old friends from the Resistance. That's right, they smuggled us out of the city and sheltered us in Little Alamigo at all the great risk of themselves. Obviously, we couldn't let that go unacknowledged, so we offered to help them out with their operations for a while. And while we learned the Scion's exoneration, that Lil Rito had severed all ties with the Crystal Braves, and that General Raubon had been reinstated, we resolved to make contact. But after long since discarding our cell phones as a preliminary measure, other options were rather limited. To make matters more complicated, we were embroiled in a delicate operation at the time, leaving me with little choice but to entrust a leather to a courier. I gather from your puzzled expressions, however, that you never received it. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. 
We thought this might happen. While the masks were happy to let refugees spread the word within the community, they're pretty strict about communicating with outsiders. Oh, and we also heard a rumor that the Griffin doesn't want us meddling in his affairs. Because he doesn't want to get found out. That's why. He doesn't want to get fucking found out. The Griffin mistrusts the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Yeah, because he they know who he is. He's a fucking, he's a piece of shit. He's Alberto. Curious. Uh, it's well known that we are no friends to Garlemald. One would think the man that we saw beseeching all the sundry to join his cause would welcome our support. As you should say, the man that you saw was in fact the Griffin, but an impersonator. And a talented rabble-rouser to boot. It would not surprise me if he were responsible for the majority of these public appearances. As you may have gathered, the Griffin is an extremely cautious and distrusting man who has made every effort to conceal his identity. Even whenever we participated in a raid under his direct command, we were not permitted to approach him. It's hard to know what to make of it all. The secrecy, the impersonators, the masks. True. What? It's not for making you all wear one, and mine only covers half my face. It's completely different. No, it's not. Anyway, whenever we heard, uh, heard the Griffin was due to give a speech, we thought that it might be a good opportunity to get some better sense of the man behind the, uh, better sense of the man. Uh, and now, if you had the whole of it, but tell me, what prompted you to take an inf interest in the Griffin? I forgot even why. Summoning? You're not serious? Oh, yeah! That's right, the Resistance would never, such inter uh, would never entertain such a ridiculous plan, but the Griffin... Oh, he is a man of an enigma. I cannot say with any confidence what he may or may not do. What I can say, however, is that the speech that we heard today was not the first to make a reference to power capable of defeating the Empire. The mask had made such claims of late. I confess, I had assumed it would be a mere bluster, but in the context of the shipments of which you spoke, it is not impossible to say that they are alluding to a primal. Whatever it is, we'll find out together, and if anyone tries to stop us, they'll answer to me. Oh, yeah, sure. If, as you suspect, the Griffin is indeed plotting to summon a primal, we must need to uh, obtain confirmation while there's still time to act. To that end, I propose that we question his double. My plan is as follows. You and Alpha and I will pose as adventurers fallen on hard times, inspired by his words, to take up arms for a noble cause. Yida and I, as members of the Resistance, will recount tales of your past achievements, testify to your usefulness in the struggles ahead. With our enthusiastic assurances still ringing in his ears, he will decide to welcome you in person and we will arrange a meeting. It seems simple enough, let us be off. Okay. Let's kill him. Oh no, no, we don't kill him yet. My thanks, comrades. You're welcome. You must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. Absolutely. Yes, we 100% do. We care about your problems. A great interest, you might say. What a lion ass bitch. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans. But you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. True. Why is that? I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you were planning to summon a primal. Bro. Oh my god, what are you doing? You're gonna scare him away. Because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. Oh, shit. Oh, my, what? Yeah. I'd like to hear more about the Griffin. The real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us. Oh, shit. Ah, the famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you lot. It is, it is him, isn't it? It's gotta be right. him. I am not the Wait, Griffin, what? but I speak with his voice. And it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. Okay. The false griffin. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. Then why? We used them to reach an accord with the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. So you did, but you're not the one doing it. It's still happening, though. You've got 
it's the joking. same thing. Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Al Amigo will never be free. Yeah, idiot. This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. Yeah, but nobody wants to fuck with that shit. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. I think he is the real Griffin, and he's saying he's the fake Griffin. What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Emoja? What? Aside from a lack of crystals, none. But the Beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. Okay. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. Jesus Christ, are you fucking kidding me, man? Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have not to hide. We gotta get this guy- make him take off his fucking mask, man! If there is a cache like, to be found, Eder and I will find it. Yeah, sure. I am then fucking- Then let me off. Are you perchance the warrior of light? Yep. I... I thought so. You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference. Yeah. You saved me too once. Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a lifetime ago. To be honest, I completely fucking forgot. I totally forgot. On behalf of my brothers it's and my sisters, fault. Yep. I thank you. You gave us hope where there was none. Courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not squander your gift. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused too, exactly. Bro, his armor is so cool, man. Like, he has such badass armor. I know that look, Ida, and I do not like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. True. I... I just... Idiot. If the Griffin and his men have their way, mm -hmm. it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. This doesn't seem like a big problem. Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. Okay, well, we're fucked. You mustn't lose sight of that, Ida. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must yeah. do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done. Uh, I swear to God, man, if I got a BD for it, I'm going to do what I need to do, man. Uh, I'm going to just go in there and beat his fucking ass. It's not going to be a big deal. So we have to defeat them with facts and logic. We have to epically own them. So they go forth in accordance with the Griffin's plan. The players gather uh, to assume their marks on a stage wreathed in flame. Ere long before the curtain shall rise in a drama of which I am author, gods forgive me, shall long be, long last be performed. Naught else remaineth, save to stand at the ready and pray that the chance is seized. For never shall we know its like again. Man. Okay. Boys. I'm gonna beat his dick off. What's going on over here? Oh, no. They're stealing our boss kill. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. You son of a bitch. Because he'd been cheating. He'd been, reading, he'd been playing Nine off our screen. 12. Will you never learn? Oh, my God. You know you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. Good. We're gonna kill him? But killing Let's the warrior go. of light, on the other hand. That would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. One life for one world. A fair exchange! Wouldn't you agree? We're gonna kill him. Just kill him. Just kill his ass real quick. Oh, whoa! Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. True. 
Kill him, man. Kill him. Kill him, Thaladred. What? Well, no, man. Let me let me get in there. Let me get in there. Carbuncle, defend me. Good job. Use. Oh, I thought it was gonna. <laughs> I sense you will offer more than mere target practice, unlike your sister. Oh my God! What a bitch. Damn. Yeah, she's actually not really that useful. Yeah, she's not that great. How'd they let him get that cast off? Did, did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. Are we about to get an anime sequence? My brother was always the clever one. While my talents lay elsewhere. Is she about to kill is she about to kill their ass? What the fuck is going on? Is she gonna read him a story? Oh! Oh shit! All right, let's go. As Eorzea's blade of light once stood by my side, now I shall stand at his and defend this realm with all my might. Fuck yeah. Let's finish this. Let's do it. I'm ready. Yeah, we can beat their ass. It's not a big deal. It's not even going to be funny. Okay. Pick up all these guys. Look at, look at, look at this pussy bitch, dude. Look at this pussy bitch. I'm gonna pop off on him real hard. Pop it off on him real hard. Wait, what's this? Oh, he take he's not taking damage. I see how it is. Okay, let's kill the mage right now. Devout of darkness. Get the fuck out of here. We'll kill this guy next. Look at this damage, dude. Look at this fucking damage. You shall fall soon enough. Got him, got him, got him. Bro, they're getting destroyed. Holy fuck. Okay. The mage too? Wait, where's where's Uber Danger? We gotta kill him. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm a tank. I can deal with this damage. Yep, I'm fine. What's this here? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Wait, they got res? Wait, what? What the fuck is going on? What? what? Hey. Okay, getting out of that. Okay, we'll kill the ranger here. Okay, I'll heal myself a little bit too. Nice. Bro, this shit's hard. Okay, we'll kill the knight now. Defeat the warriors of darkness. Call upon the power of the echo. Wait, what the... Bro, how do they have this many limit breaks? No more games. What the... Fuck! What the fuck? This is horse shit. It ends now. We lost. This is bullshit. The chains. They got despawned. Was it who I think it is? God, you snake. You would betray us as well. Oh, shit. He that holdeth fast unto his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This I believe with all my heart. They hear him talk and don't y'all know that's uber danger. But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true, what dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? Uh-oh. By the twelve, Oriange! He fucking called them out, dude. Yup. Oh, shit. Damn, Mine he's a good looking dude. Master Alfino, that the brightest light might shine, 
Duty did compel me to walk in darkest shade. What? You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. Yeah, I... I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? Probably not. Thou mayest, my lady. Dude, he's hot. Dude, no wonder Moonbreeder was about him. Yeah, he was good. What's he gonna do? By thy leave. Okay, so we're gonna fight him? Let's go. Even odds then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you in one fell swoop. Yeah, I don't think so, stupid. Understood. Hearken to me. We only have one chance. We got we got to kill him this time, Channel okay? Channel the ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. But just interrupt. Like, just say interrupt. I cannot do it alone. But together, together we can defeat them. Okay, let's do it. Let's blow, blow him up. Oh, shit. Make ready. They come. Are we going to actually... Oh, we are. We are. We're going to actually fight him. Channel Aether into Alice's blade. Yo, fuck that shit. I'm going in. Fuck that shit. I'm popping off. I must have more ether. All right, let's kill everybody. Yo, I ain't listening to that fucking bullshit, dude. I'm popping off. I'm doing what I need to do. Okay, I can't kill him, can I? All right, we got to knock this guy out first. Okay. Okay, we'll do big damage on him. Kill this guy, no problem. He's dead. And now I can hit him, right? Yep. Oh my god, dude. That guy got fucking destroyed. Wow. But yeeted and deleted. You see, I hit him for fucking 13,000? Oh my god. What's up, bitch? Where'd you got the chains now? That's right. Absolutely fucking destroyed. Get the fuck out of here. Give me your ether. Wait, why? Oh, uh, alright, alright, how do I do it? Interacting. Nice. Okay. Come on, you're gonna fucking die today. It's over. It's over, I won't lose. You just did, bitch. Okay, there we go. I'm empowering her attack. There it is, dude. That's it, we've got him. No. Not like this. Damn. Finish him off. What are you doing? Finish him off. Oh, she's pregnant. Alize, are you hurt? What? Yeah, I know. A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank is it minor? you. Is she actually 16? I don't even know. Like, I thought y'all were just trolling about that. She is? And there you have okay. it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. Surprise, bitch. <sighs> We are far from finished. Well, kill him, man. Or have you never considered how we came to this world? Probably a tell of, uh, you paid a, how much is it to transfer? Okay. Crystals? You mean, like the Asians? That's right. Just so. As the Asians flee unto the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Uh-huh. Eloquent, as always. Aye. Like the Asians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. Well, ne yeah, but we did. We beat like three of them. We, we killed like three of them. What are you talking about? <laughs> wait! Yeah, wait a minute, bitch. Settle down. Such methods as the Asians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... You would have had to... What? 
At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. Damn. Uber <laughs> Danger doesn't give a fuck. We were just adventurous doesn't trying care. to make our way. And our job here, a fair he doesn't care. We never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread. And soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought. And we fought and we fought until there was no one left to fight. We won. And now our world is being erased from existence. That's too bad. That's too bad. You're not gonna come here, talk shit, cause a bunch of trouble here? Uh-uh, especially not you, bitch. We did everything right. Everything that was asked of us and still, still it came to this. You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction and now we must save it. Nope, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. I don't have any sympathy for them at all. They're nasty ass bitches. I've died before, Arbit. I'm not afraid to yep, die again. I don't like him. Just kill him right now. I don't like him. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind. That's what you think. Oh, they've got all the same crystals I do. Oh, wow. It's like Captain Planet. Yeah, look at that. I've seen this before. What's wrong? To have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soir, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. He says uh, that it, it almost we almost couldn't get got, but we gotta watch out so we don't. That's what he meant to say. Did we just? What the fuck? What is this place? Uh, it's just, it's a star, it's a, a login screen. Yeah. Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, here we go. Oh, my dear children. What the? It can't be. Yeah, for real. Mother Heidelin. Hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. In this desperate hour, we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Oh, shit. Wait, how would he know? How does he even know? Would he know that? Your cries go not unheard. Nor your sacrifices. I don't know. You told him? I forgot. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save. Who I can yet save.
Oh my god. Minfilia. There she is. Holy shit. Blessed children of the first. The light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance. But it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world. And there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it. As darkness once did drown another. Oh yeah, the world of void. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer. He's mad. <laughs> Stupid. You're in the shadow realm, bitch. You can't do nothing. As the Asians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. Damn. But for the boon you've got granted, stunned. She has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. Do we get Melfina your back? Your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications. She has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Oh, that's nice. They get to save their world. Okay. Thank you, Uriel and Jay, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. Wait, so she's not, like, I'm so confused. I thought that she, man, that's confusing, brah. Like, I kind of expected it to be like, you know how Gandalf came back in the two towers as Gandalf the White, spoilers, by the way, and he said, Gandalf, that's what they used to call me. And he didn't really remember who he used to be in the same way. I thought that's kind of what happened with Milfina here, but I guess not. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Hydaelyn had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. Yeah, she not useless anymore is what he's saying. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own. A doomed world of fallen heroes, in whom I glimpsed ourselves. The first. And that's why he decided to help the kid in the Warring Triad. Uh, in the Warring Triad. That's what it's gotta be, cause think about that, remember? Full long did I search for a means to save this world. Concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark okay yet i knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice for the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither thither there to remain mayhap forever oh so he's talking about the warriors of darkness you orchestrated all of this not to save her but to send her away yeah, we're gonna, yeah, it's, you see, everybody thinks Uber Danger is really smart because he uses the, uh, the Shakespeare words, right? But the Redditor can see through this. He can see through this. He, he knows what's going on. One life for one world. Such was the bargain and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal? And at her bidding, borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. Okay. That sucks, but it is what it is. You would go alone, then? Oh, man. Yeah, I guess that sucks for fucking Thaladred because, you know, of, like, what happened. Like, I bet he's gonna be pissed off at Uber Danger. My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf. Damn. As would my father be. 
Damn. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them. Forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. Make me proud. Aww. Damn. Damn. Wow. Long have I watched you from Heidel inside. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. Yeah, we do what we can. Oh! The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets. Oh, is that his staff? Thus do I entrust to you, Tupsimati. Yeah. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. Yeah, that was Louis Swa's staff, and it was broken. Remember, it was behind her. We just got a legendary artifact. Damn. He always mad, dude. He's mad about everything. It's like, calm Don't down. Seem the power of our crystals is all but spent. Perhaps if there is naught else to be done. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know either. Well, I don't know anything. Well, I'm not sure what we should do now. Now what? Hear me. Servants of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. What is it? Take us with you. Take us home. Damn. Are they going to get this enchanted? We were blind to the truth once, so I tell you this, as one fool to another. Like, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. That's why I'm a dark knight. You don't need to tell me that, I know that. I did the quest. We made our choice and you see what came of it, so please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. Damn. Damn. They dead. They dead. I never liked them. It's a strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart. My heart filled Yeah, I never calm. liked them. I'm glad they're dead. And ever did you return to me in triumph. It's like the girl about like bragging about how she was like killing uh Alphanod's sister, Alice. Yeah, what a bitch, man. What a fucking bitch. I'm glad they're fucking dead. I'm sad that we had to save their world, man. Fuck all of them. Uh-uh. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. Aw, thank you. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I am. Oh, it's her mom. Adopted mom. Oh, shit. Damn. 
That's sad. That's fucking sad. Dude. That's sad. I cannot help but wonder what awaits those wayward souls. If they gave their lives in order to travel to the source and returning to the first, would they not? Mayhap that was their wish. Damn. Holy shit. Wow. You understood 20% of what happened? I understood the whole thing. Uh, I, I did. I just don't like them. I think that they're assholes. Like, besides of, like, what they're doing, they're still assholes. Like, is, is this is besides, you know, all this other bullshit, they're still assholes. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Welcome home, Asgore. I trust your journey was uneventful. While awaiting your arrival, I took the opportunity to contact Yashalada and Kriel and brief them on all that's occurred. Um, they requested to return to the Rising Stones at the earliest convenience. Now that our lost friends have been found, it would seem that we should meet, discuss the future. Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Yay. Not since. Not since after Moon Breeder. Yeah, that was bad. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. Yeah, that's right. Orianger, oh. and we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Asians as before. Oh, so they just, they want him to continue? To continue being a double agent? Says no. Nope. Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust. Having so villainously deceived you all. Man, shut up. You did what we need. You did what you needed to do, bro. It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it, man. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfidia's wishes. Yeah, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up, Shakespeare. She entrusted Get back to work. Here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Yeah. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? No, I guess not. Yep. Yep. Very well. Then out of love for my lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. Damn, so this guy's gonna have to work with the Asians? So he's a spy. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the resistance. Yeah. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? What are you? What are you acting weird for? What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, bro. That's exactly what I was and thinking. What you do, Alize? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I have no great love for organizations and formalities. True. What's this, what's this word? That being said, this new approach you propose is totally objectionable. And we've always got him to keep us from bickering. Aww. She's going her own way. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. A woman going her own way. If it please you, Imagine you may that. think of me as but another comrade in arms. Aww. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. Great, yeah, get back to doing the accounting work for us, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the Warrior of Light? Hmm. A new adventure, what else? Yep, there it is. Boom. Ready to fuck shit up. Indeed. Okay. The path behind us was fraught with hardship, and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it. That's right, dude. That's right. Aww, look at that, dude. What is this? That's the real one. Well done, brother. You may resume your normal duties and rejoin the others. The coming battle shall be our greatest yet, and I intend to stand with you all on that glorious day. Fuck, dude. 
true believers are so readily led. I have given them everything they desired, all which they have prayed. I doubt that you can say the same for your pawns. Get what you wanted then. Was it all worth it in the end? There were some unexpected developments, but they were ultimately to our advantage. Uh, be it the host of surf at light or dark, a world bereft of equilibrium is but a void in waiting, and a void is of no use to my master. Uh, I shall follow her emissary with great interest. As for the pawns of whom you so pity, they have delivered to me on a gift, which I now bestow upon you. It's an ice cube with... Uh, I told y'all that was a mistake. I said, that's a mistake. I said, don't... I said, don't throw them out like that because somebody's going to get them. I said, 100% somebody's going to catch them. So, like, they're going to go down there. They're going to get it. Like, I, did I not... Did I not say that? I did say that. I said, this is a mistake. Many were the candidates considered, but by your deeds, you have proven yourself most deserving. A man of boundless rage and bottomless despair, in, in whose be uh, breast beats a heart of thirst for vengeance. Only you are fit to wield these eyes. For weal or for woe? Are they for weal? Wow. Damn. Damn. What's this? Hmm. So it was here all along. Who the fuck is this? Oh, no. Not Nero. Are you kidding me? No, dude. No! Oh, just you wait, my petty. Uh, you and I are gonna have so much fun. I'm so glad they didn't put his laugh in the game. Oh my god. My, my petty? My pretty? Did I say petty? I say pretty? Yeah, whatever it is, okay. I got the wind-up Moonbrita, thank god. The anatomically accurate representation of Moonbrita was secretly crafted by none other than Uber Danger immediately following the untimely passing of his beloved companion. What he did with it, 